Hey everyone, welcome to this video. I'm Inkslaura123 and this video is going to be about happiness. Things that you can do to make you happy. So I got the idea for this video from this book here, which uh, I picked up in a charity shop the other day for like 50p. Um, it's called Happiness is 500 Things to be Happy About. Uh, Lisa Swirling and Ralph Lazar are the authors. Honestly, there are such cute, cute, cute illustrations in here. Um, which makes me happy in itself, just looking at some of these <laughs> super cute and adorable illustrations. Um, but yeah, I just thought it'd be a, you know, a nice idea for a video to kind of go through the ideas with you and kind of see if, if you know, you can get some tips. And not just you, the viewer, but me as well. Like, I need things to make me happy as well. Um, you probably won't realise this because in my videos and live streams, I probably, you know, do come across quite happy and, and fun and, you know, always trying to make people laugh, etc. Um, which is definitely a part of me. Like, that is true. What you see is what you get. However, um, over the years, I have suffered from depression, kind of on and off over the years. Um, kind of started in my, like, teenage, you know, era, uh, teenage minx. Um, and then, yeah, over the years... It's kind of, you know, been there, not been there, been there. Sometimes it's set off by certain things, like certain things happen in my life, and it obviously triggers that kind of sadness and depression. Um, other times, there's nothing actually wrong in my life. Like, things are going really well, and, and I'm very fortunate and lucky. But for some reason, I can't shake that depression. I can't shake that kind of negative energy and just feeling really sad. I find it hard to kind of motivate myself and... Like sometimes I don't want to talk to people. I don't want to get out of bed. Like it, it's, you know, it's it's really up and down over the years, my depression. Um, but I really do think it's important that you find things in your life to make you happy. Um, and sometimes, you know, it's something really simple. You know, it's not always got to be big, like things, big gestures, you know, just something small can just make you smile and cheer you up a bit. Um, you know, for me, sometimes I am like full blown depression like nothing really could help me cheer me up it's a kind of case of me just kind of getting through it working through those emotions and then kind of coming out the other end but other times it's not so full-blown it's not so like dire depression it's more kind of like I'm just in a, a kind of sad mood um or feeling a bit low or negative or whatever and, and things will and can and do cheer me up um so I think it's really important in life that we are happy um so when I saw this book I had to get it um, so should we go through it? So I'm going to read uh, as many as I can. Um, I mean, I'll try and do all 500, but obviously I don't need to get bored. So some of the things I'll kind of go into and talk about more. And some of the things I'll just, you know, just kind of read out and move on. Yeah. Um, if you enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. Just put my glasses on here. Uh, comment, share, subscribe. Also, let me, yeah, let me know in the comments section down below what makes you happy. Things that you do or people that make you happy. Anything, um, you know, all tips and advice and comments are welcome. Um, and I'll, at the end of the video, maybe share a few things that I know make me happy. Okay, so should we get started? Should we do this? It says the start of your journey. And that's what it is, a journey to happiness. Happiness. By the way, feel free to uh, jot some notes down, maybe some tips that you think, oh, that, that might, you know, be good for me, or that might, I could do that. Um, right, okay, so let's let's go. So some of these, by the way, I've had a little quick, you know, look through. Some of these kind of tips are just a bit silly, um, but some of them are actually quite like, oh, thought-provoking that, you know. But at the end of the day, silly or not silly, these things apparently, according to this book, will make you happy. So first things first, a pinky promise. I always used to do that with my mum whenever I'd been naughty she'd say don't do it again and then she'd hold out a little finger and I'd go pinky promise I won't <laughs> um, and it does make you feel good I suppose when you kind of make that promise um the chocolate bar you forgot you had hell to the air um I've had so many occasions where I'm, I'm like really desperate for chocolate I can't be bothered to go to the shop and then find a bar of chocolate either in my my bag um or in a cupboard or a drawer that's been like never, never opened and I'm like yay chocolate uh when the vending machine gives you extra <laughs> yeah I've, I've had that uh it's great you like put for one thing and then another couple of bits fall out and you're like oh more goodies yay um a view off rooftops now this could be i love the illustration to that um this could be for some people not for me because i have a fear of heights but if you don't have a fear of heights um, it is nice to, I assume, because I don't feel it, but it is nice to look over and see like a really beautiful view from like, up above. You know, I, I could get that, but when I go and do it, I just feel like dizzy and sick and it's not good. Um, pottery on the wheel. Now, I used to love doing pottery at school. 
Um, it was very, very relaxing, just kind of sitting there and, you know, kind of, yeah, therapeutic. And, and like the end result's nice, isn't it? When you've made like a bowl or a vase or something. Um, spooning. Oh, I love spoon. That actually looks like me and Nathan laid out in bed there, <laughs> spooning each other. I love spooning. Years ago, I'd never heard of that expression. I don't know if that's a more kind of modern thing. But yeah, spooning, cuddling up, you know, it's just it's just a lovely feeling having a cuddle and, and stuff. I love laying in bed with Nathan and just, well, spooning. You know, it's just very, it's very nice. Um, extra pepperoni, it says here. Now, obviously, I'm a vegetarian, so that one's not for me. But if you're having a pizza, you get a bit of extra pepperoni or anything extra, like if they put extra cheese on, I'm happy with that. Um, when a ladybug lands on you, yeah, some of these I'm not going to agree on. Some of these will make me unhappy, not happy. <laughs> I'm scared of insects, so, you know. But if you aren't scared of insects and you like ladybugs and things landing on you, you know, they are pretty, I suppose, but I'm scared of them. Um, picnic, picnic time. I've had a picnic for ages. When I was a kid, um, yeah, my family used to always have picnics. We'd always go to the park or mum and dad would take me somewhere in a car and we'd just end up on this field somewhere. Um, and the blanket would come out, this, this basket and boxes of food and drink. Yeah, it was, it was good fun. Um, hitting a pinata. <laughs> I love all their little faces. Look. So for me, I, I, I don't think I'd enjoy that. I'm not doing well with this book, am I? Um, because I feel bad about hitting like this cute, because the pinatas that I've ever seen are like really cute ones, like donkeys or llamas or whatever. And I feel kind of bad in like punching it and hitting it. But I suppose there is a kind of, kind of odd, uh, what is it, oddly satisfying feeling of smashing it and all the sweets coming out maybe i don't know um a free hotel breakfast hey anything free is all good by me <laughs> um talking talking about music with someone who gets it i can't do the other quote because like my hand's holding the book the book but you know um yeah i love talking about like bands or singers or songs that i love with someone who also loves them um you know he's passionate about that band passionate about that song like it makes you feel like you are as one for that conversation. Um, my taste in music is very varied. I love a bit of this, a bit of that. Um, so when I do find someone and they're like, oh, I love that song. And you start talking about the lyrics and the sound. And, you know, it's, yeah, it's, it's a nice feeling. Yeah. Um, growing a good beard. I mean, I get the odd hair under here, but, you know, I wouldn't be happy if I grew a beard. But I suppose if you want a beard and it's a good beard. I mean, Nathan's got a lovely beard. I have to say he's got a very good beard. Uh, if you're new here, by the way, Nathan's my fiancé. He uh, he put a ring on it. Anyway, uh, simplicity. That's a nice one. Very plain image, but it means a lot. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, sometimes you just want a kind of, well, simple kind of life. You don't want any stress. You just want everything to be nice and simple. Um, school friends or work friends, obviously, if you're older. So, I mean, yeah, back in the day when I was at school and I did I did have school friends, um, yeah, there was an enjoyment about, you know, being around my school friends and, and kind of giggling in class when we weren't supposed to and, you know, being late back to class when we weren't supposed to. Basically, it was being naughty with my friends. Um, Work-wise, you know, I've, I don't know, I've not really ever bonded with people I've worked with. I mean, obviously, at the moment, I work with my mum and Nathan and we work for a company and we all kind of get on with the big bosses as such, but we, we mainly just talk to them on the phone and stuff. But um, yeah, it's nice to have, you know, a kind of friendship with your colleagues or, or you know, fellow students. Um, falling asleep to the sound of your cat purring. I haven't got a pussy cat. Um, but I, I, I can understand that the sound of purring is quite relaxing, isn't it? Um, piggyback rides. <laughs> I used to love them. My dad used to give me so many piggyback rides when I was like really small. I mean, I'm still really small because I'm only four foot eleven. But anyway, um, but yeah, it was fun. But he used to like pretend to drop me. I don't know if any other uh, family members did that to you as a kid, but that used to terrify me. But I still liked it because I knew he wasn't really going to drop me. Well, I hoped he wasn't going to drop me. A rocking chair. Yes, that that you know what a rocking chair does make me happy. I've sat in a few over the years, whether it's been at people's houses or in like coffee shops or whatever. And it's a really nice feeling, just kind of gently rocking. I like that. Yeah, that makes me happy. Um, an unexpected upgrade to business class. I mean, I've, yeah, I mean, the only thing I can kind of say is that is years ago being on a train and going into the first class bit by mistake. Not. <laughs> and it did feel more comfortable and a little bit more posh. So, yeah, I can take that. Uh, joining a line just before it gets really long. Oh, my God. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. This is me in the post office queue waiting to post me eBay parcels. Um, oh, my God. Yeah, I, I hate 
queues. I really get anxious in a queue. I don't know what it is. I just don't like it. Um, so yeah, if I've ever joined a queue like near the beginning and then you look behind you and it's got like a massive line behind you, I'm always like, yes, it was worse if I'd have joined the queue then. So I get that. Bumping into an old teacher. Hmm. Well, it depends on the teacher. I think certain teachers, if I saw them today, I'd be like, oh, you know, that'd be nice and that would make me happy. But other teachers, uh-uh, no thank you. Uh, pancake breakfast, oh, we got to love a pancake. Uh, when you're really excited to show something to someone, <laughs> yeah, that is me. Like, like literally, that's kind of why I do my shopping haul videos because I, I get excited about showing what I've bought. Like, oh, look at my new jumper or look at my new shoes or whatever. Like, it, yeah, I do get excited and happy about that. Uh, tropical drinks. I do like a nice tropical drink, actually, especially in the summer. Nice and fruity. Uh, music that takes you back. Yes, 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 yes. I, if I'm honest, like me and Nathan say this all the time, we don't listen to music that's kind of out now. Like, we don't know who is in the charts, who's popular or not, um, apart from, like, the obvious ones, but anyone else we don't really know of. But back in the day, when you listen to music from your either childhood or your teens, like, it's just like, yeah, it does make you happy. It kind of takes you back to that place. Um, blowing out birthday candles is fun. I have to agree. That is a fun experience. My birthday is in August, so not long now. And then I will whoosh, blow out those candles. Uh, dancing like idiots. <laughs> that looks like me and Nathan as well. A lot of these images look like me and Nathan. Um, yeah, I love a good dance, I have to say. Uh, looking down on your hometown from a plane, as again, no, fear of heights. But, you know, if you're not scared of heights, wonderful for you. Uh, being the first one up. Yeah, I do like being the first one up in the morning. There's a sense of, I don't know, it's 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 happiness because I'm like the first one up. People are like, my mum's asleep, Nathan's asleep, and I'm just like, ah, I can make a nice cup of coffee, have what I want on the TV, cook myself some breakfast. Yeah, I, it makes me happy. No dirty dishes in the sink. Yeah, I, I don't, I mean, we've got a dishwasher, to be fair. God, that sounds really arrogant. We've got a dishwasher, don't you know? Um, but yeah, when there's obviously when we didn't have the dishwasher, seeing dirty, oh, dirty dishes and sinks and cutlery is not nice. Uh, finding the perfect pair of glasses. Yes. I find it so difficult to get my glasses. Um, these are my like spare ones. I like the colors on the side. Um, but when you do find that pair, you're like, oh good. They fit. They look nice. Lovely. Uh, a freshly sharpened pencil. Does that make you happy? I mean, I get where they're coming from with that one as well. Yeah. It's, I mean, it wouldn't make me like, yeah, but it'd make me like, pleasing it's nice to see a sharpened pencil when your pencil's gone a bit blunt um spin on an office chair definitely <laughs> i don't do it on my chair in work because it's very old and i think if i spun on it it just break the thing but back in the day in, in an office i used to work at called well it was british telecom basically um i would i would sit there and i would spin and spin and spin to a point where i would make myself dizzy um, and I always did it before anyone else coming. So I'd always get in super early before like the managers and the other staff come in. So I'd, I'd be bored and I would just spin and spin and spin. Weird, isn't it? Uh, but it is nice. Having your work appreciated, definitely. You like doing some, you know, work and having someone saved done well. Doggy breath apparently makes you happy. Hmm, I don't know about that. Uh, so <laughs> the same thing at the same time. Yeah, I love that. It's nice. Um, and I don't know if you do it when you say the same thing as someone. And then you both even, you both at the same time say, jinx. Maybe not as, maybe just think. Finding coins in the sofa. Oh, yes. I, I found one the other day. I kept feeling something under my butt. And I was like, what is this? I can feel something. And I pulled out a little um silver 10p, like 10p piece. So there you go. Yeah, it was nice. I like finding money. Who doesn't? Waking up to a beautiful day. Yeah, I like a nice beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Who sang that? Oh, you too. You too, Sung. Um, chasing fireflies. I've never seen a firefly, but I know what they look like. And they all light up, don't they? I can imagine that's beautiful. I think people put them in jars or something, don't they? Maybe. Um, when someone's laugh is funnier than the joke. Yeah, I love that. When you like tell a really like average joke, but the person you're telling it to has just got this like silly, weird laugh. It's, it's just really hilarious. I love that. Um, when I was a kid, I used to get told that my laugh sounded like dastardly and muttly from wacky races, anyway, um, being unapologetically yourself, oh, 100%, I'm always myself, baby, uh, fancy stinky cheese, <laughs> that does not make me happy, who wrote that one, stinky cheese, mind you, my mum likes, what is it, Danish blue, and it stinks, like mould in it, well, it make, makes her happy, skiing, 
I would like to ski, but I would be terrified. Using a pen till the very last drop of ink. Um, mm, I don't know. I'm a bit like that with sellotape. I like using that last bit. Nathan's like, Bob, you know, you've got a new sellotape. Just open a new packet. And I'm like, no, actually, I want to I want to use the whole thing. I want to use that last little bit up. So maybe it's a similar thing. Uh, having weird friends. <laughs> I love the drawing of the, the weird friends. Um, I mean, my friends are pretty normal, to be fair. I'm the weird one, so, you know. Um... A long bath, oh, with a good book. Hell yeah. Laying in a hot bath is just lovely in itself. Breakfast in bed, yeah, it's nice, apart from the crumbs in the sheets. A hug. I love a hug. I love a cuddle. I think as a person, you're either a, a, a kind of cuddly person or not a cuddly person. And I've had friends and partners over the years, etc., and family members who haven't really been the huggy person. And I'm always like, hug, hug. I, I am just, yeah, I love a nice cuddle. Uh, fixing something, yeah, it's always good to know you fix something that's not working. Uh, a spoonful of peanut butter, yes. I love peanut butter, but I only like the smooth. I don't like the one with bits in. It's too, like, crispy for my teeth. Uh, kids helping without being asked. Well, I haven't got kids, so obviously I, I can't get that one. But I, I'd assume that is probably a nice thing <laughs> without having to, like, beg them to help. Sunrise from a surfboard. I've never been on a surfboard, but I assume that is very nice um rocking out in the car with the windows down oh yeah i've done that when i used to drive um i'd have my music reasonably loud uh not naughty loud but just you know reasonably loud and yeah at traffic lights i'd be like <laughs> singing along so yeah it made me happy uh passing notes during lectures i used to <laughs> i used to do it at college all the time like seriously and probably at school as well actually there is something quite fun and happy about doing that you feel kind of naughty um laughing at a bad movie Oh yeah, there's been so many films over the years that I've gone to see at the cinema or watched on TV and you just, they're so bad and you just end up laughing. I think the worst one that I ever saw, one of them was um, Nomeo and Juliet. I went with one of my mates who I'm no longer mates with, but anyway, long story, won't go there. Um, but we went to see Nomeo and Juliet and it was so funny because it was so bad. And we literally just like spoke and laughed about other stuff throughout the whole film. Um, secretly holding hands. Uh, meeting someone who loves the ah, oh, meeting someone who loves the same books as you do. Oh yeah, I mean sadly none of my friends are bookworms, uh, which does upset me actually. I wish I had more bookworm friends, and and I try as all I can, you know, to mix with people online and join, you know, different book groups or whatever. Yeah, but I still can't. I don't know. People just don't seem to bond with me about my books, which is sad. You know, I leave all these comments to booktubers that, you know, some of them get back to you or it'd be like the odd comment and then you'll ne never hear from again. So my wish is to have more book friends because, you know, I'm such a bookworm. It'd be awesome to just really talk about books to someone and have the, you know, kind of reading the same books as you and discuss them and stuff. Uh, I mean, I've got a few booktubey friends, don't get me wrong, and they're lovely. Um, and maybe, I don't know, maybe I just wish I had more and I wish I had more booktube, sorry, bookworm friends, like, in real life and not just online kind of thing um peeling a tangerine in one piece <laughs> that's that's impossible well it's probably not but i've never been able to do it um new guitar strings i don't play guitar but i assume yeah you're gonna get a better sound when you're playing the guitar um a live oh look at that that's my happiness right there a library can you see that oh yeah i'm happy well, honestly whenever i'm in a library i get very very not only relaxed and calm but very happy uh, when you look fabulous in a group photo, <laughs> yeah, I'm always like, whenever I've had group photos in the past, because I don't really have them anymore, the first thing I look at is myself, and I know that sounds super arrogant, a narcissist, but uh, I can't help it, and I do, and it's always good when you're like, oh, okay, look, it's fine, I look good, I look good, it's, it's fine, uh, when someone else catches the spider for you, yes, that's Nathan, <laughs> There's me jumped up on the toilet running away and he's catching it. Yes, um, I don't like hurting spiders because I, I do love spiders. I'm just terrified of them. Um, so he'll have to come along. With, he comes along with his little glass or cup and puts them out in the garden or a bit of tissue or whatever. Uh, going really high on a swing does not make me happy. It terrifies me. Fear of heights. Um, but going on my swing when I was a kid, I loved. I had a, a swing in the garden. I loved it. A warm cat curled up on your lap. I'm not really a cat person. I'm so sorry. I know a lot of you are. Um, I'm, I don't know. They don't like me. They hiss at me and scratch and that. But um, I'd, I'd swap that with dog. If there's a cute, like, little doggy, fluffy dog on my lap, I'd be happy with that. Uh, sugar cubes. Mm, not as an adult, but as a kid. Yeah. Silly mirrors. 
<laughs> silly mirrors. Find, like, you know, yeah, I can get that. It's quite funny, isn't it? Uh, finding a lid that fits your Tupperware. Yeah, that's honestly the amount of lids that we have that don't go with the size of the box. Oh, um, same with lids and frying pans and saucepans. So when you do find the one that fits, you're like, oh, yes. Uh, stopping to smell flowers. Definitely not because I have hay fever. Um, sorry, I keep sniffing. <laughs> Sorry, my hay fever's bad today, actually. A sleeping baby. Yeah, I suppose if you've got a baby and it finally sleeps and it's nice and quiet, you're like, ah, peace. Uh, teaching. I mean, mm, yeah. well, I don't know. I do like teaching someone something. I feel clever because I know it and they don't and I'm kind of helping them to learn. Yeah, I suppose so. Um, maple syrup on vanilla ice cream is okay-ish, I would say, taste-wise. A bit too sweet. Twinkle lights. I love twinkle lights. Making a baby laugh. I love that picture, actually. <laughs> it's just, I don't know why it makes me laugh, but it does. Yes, I do. Like, whenever I've seen um, my friends who've had babies and stuff, I always go up to them, pull silly faces, to the baby, not my friend. Um, and when they giggle and smile, it's a nice feeling. Uh, building a treehouse, never got to do it, but I would love to. Making a list of all the places you want to visit. It wouldn't be a very long list for me. I mean, there's not really many places that I'd want to go, which is really sad, actually. Um, like, even if I didn't have a phobia of travelling and stuff, I'm not really that... I don't, I'm not really that travelly kind of vibe person. Um, the main place I'd love to go to, please don't comment and be nasty, is Israel. Um, I'm not going to go into all their political dramas and whatever. Yeah. Just as a beautiful place and also as a spiritual thing. So I'm Jewish. And to me, like Israel is like my second home. It's my homeland, even though I've never been there. Um, you feel like a weird um, connection with the country. So I'd love to go to Israel. Um, being forgiven. Yeah, when you've done something bad and you're forgiven, you do feel nice when you've been forgiven. Um, a wood-burning stove. Yeah, probably quite nice to watch. Identifying constellations. That's more Nathan's thing than me. Finding keys. Oh, God, yes. When you've lost your keys and you find them, that is happiness. Or when you've lost anything and you've found them. Um, I usually use my lose my phone or my glasses. That's the main two things I lose. Uh, yoga. I mean, yoga just makes me ache trying to get in all them positions. Cuddles. I love a good cuddle, as I say. Uh, watching children play make-believe. Um, I mean, yeah, once again, I've not got kids, so but I assume it's very nice to watch that. Bubble wrap. Yes, 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 yes. Bubble wrap is my thing. Uh, learning a new language. I wish I could. I'd love to speak Hebrew. Um, but, yeah, it's, 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 it's hard because it's not only have you got to learn the language of Hebrew, but Hebrew is not obviously wrote in English kind of, like, you know, the kind of words, they look like more symbols. So you'd have to learn all the symbols and then how to pronounce them. Like, I don't know. One day. Uh, work, sorry, making a wish and believing it will come true. Um, I'd like lots of my wishes to come true. <laughs> Talking to your mum when you're sad. Yeah, I, I do have a good chat. When me and mum sit down, I've had like deep conversations every now and again. It is good. Just kind of bond with your mum and have a little chit chat. Uh, three mini bottles of shampoo at a hotel. Whenever me and Nathan have stayed at hotels over the years, yeah, I've always took, always took the three little, you know, shower gels and shampoos and slippers if they leave them. Um, shopping. Oh, yeah. You know, shopping makes me happy. Check out my many Come Shopping With Me videos. Uh, an adventure with a camera. I do like taking photos. That's something I really want to do, actually. Maybe next week. I had the idea of going down the seafront and just taking up like, really cool, nice photographs. I don't know for what purpose, just for myself, really. Um, standing up for a cause that you believe in, 100%. Uh, getting the shower temperature right the first time. It never happens. I'm always fiddling with the dial to get it nice and warm, but not too warm. A ceiling fan. Yeah, in the summer. Hell yeah, I'd love one of those. Uh, tax credit. Uh, yeah, that made me happy. When each sock has a pair. None of my socks have pairs. Well, some of my socks have pairs. But there are a lot of odd socks in there that I just wear odd because I don't care. Uh, fresh snow. and a, Yeah, I love fresh snow. That kind of, I know, crunchy walking on the snow. Oh, it's lovely. Uh, I don't like ice, though. Falling in love. I love love. Uh, waking up and realising you don't have to go to work. Always a good thing. Always a good thing. Um, twirling your hair. I do that a lot. I haven't done it in this video. But I do when I'm just sitting there normally. I just kind of just... Yeah, I do do that. I like to earn my hair. It comforts me. Being annoying on purpose. That makes me happy. I, I love being annoying. Oh, my phone's ringing. Hold on one second. I cancelled the call. I'll ring my dad back in a moment. I'm filming, Daddy. I don't know I'm shouting. He can't hear me. Um, the freedom of travel. 
obviously I'm not really into traveling, but it is, you know, it's nice to be able to if you want to. Staying in on a Friday night, yeah. I mean, back in the day, I'll be out Friday nights, you know, clubbing, pubbing, being a bit wild. Uh, now I'm just quite happy to just, you know, read a book, have my blanket, cup of tea, put a show on or something. I'm happy. Um, a child saying thank you without being prompted. Does that ever happen? <laughs> Whenever I give kids, like, presents, like, you know, my friends and, and family's kids and stuff, it's always like the parent has to go, say thank you and they always be like thank you <laughs> like they really don't want to uh picking berries on a sunny day yeah it's back to that kind of hay fever thing probably not a good idea calling in sick yeah i mean now and again we've all done it right calling in sick from work or school um yeah and just kind of doing what you want what was it ferris buller's day off or something that 80s film an ah oh, moment so when you kind of you, you kind of come to like thing in your mind you're like, oh yeah yeah that makes me happy uh, the first step of your child, I once again, don't know, but I assume it's very lovely and sweet and endearing. Fireworks. Yes, fireworks make me happy. When's that? November, isn't it? I like fireworks. Uh, blowing bubbles. I, you know what? I walked past the works the other day and they had like kids bubble machine outside. And I literally felt like a 10 year old. I was running around all on my own like a weirdo going, oh, bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. That's really embarrassing, but it did happen. Um, watching a kid eat an ice cream cone, they get it everywhere, don't they? They get it all over their face, and it is quite funny. Uh, waking up next to the love of your life, oh, that is sweet. I do. I, you know what? I know this sounds really slushy, but every morning I wake up next to Nathan, I look at him, and I just, I'm so in love with him, and I'm just so happy that we're together, and you know, we're we're engaged, and it's yeah, it's a nice feeling. A bowl of perfectly ripe strawberries. I love strawberries. Uh, eating late, eating last night's pizza for breakfast. I don't do anymore um, because it goes too hard. Um, but back in the day, yeah, it tasted really good the next day, especially if I'd been drinking the night before and I had a bit of a ha like hangover the next day. Uh, drinking wine in good company. I don't drink wine. Uh, sewing by hand was... Mm, I'm not really into me sewing and knitting and stuff. I can knit. I can't sew. <laughs> no, I could, I suppose, if I tried, but not very well. But my grandma, that made her happy. She was into a, a dressmaking and stuff. So, yeah. Messing around on a boat. No, I'd be terrified on a boat. I couldn't I couldn't mess around on a boat and have a, have a happy time. I'd be terrified that I'd fall in the water. Uh, taking goofy pictures. It's pretty much me every day. A uh, front door. Good night. Kiss. I love that, yeah. Uh, watching waves crashing is really, yeah, that really makes me happy. I love that. Bacon. What? Well, first of all, I'm a Jew. Second of all, I'm a vegetarian. So bacon does not make me happy. <laughs> the sight of the pizza delivery guy. Yeah, I mean, anytime an Uber Eats guy comes around, like, whatever we've ordered, you open the door and you're like, yes, it's lovely. You see this, like, steaming, fresh, hot food coming out the bag and it's like, yeah, and you have to kind of play it down, don't you? A bit like, oh, thank you. But really inside, you're really excited. Winning a board game always makes me happy because I am, yeah, I'm very kind of I want to win, you know, um, kind of person. Getting to the bar just in time for happy hour. I mean, yeah, I don't go to bars anymore, but back in the day, it was nice to get there at that kind of time to get me drinks a bit cheaper. Uh, a day spent in nature, 100% agree. I love nature. I know the hay fever issues, but I, I do love being in nature. Um, and then just sneezing and coughing afterwards, yeah. Uh, playing with cousins. I mean, I've got two cousins. One I don't really see that much um, and one I don't talk to. So, yeah, I didn't really experience that as a kid. Um, an unexpected discount at checkout. That makes me happy. That does make me. When you know you've got a little bit of a bargain. Mm-hmm. Very the wind just before a summer storm, getting lost in a beautiful painting, I love art, it's something that people don't know about me, they don't realise, maybe I don't look the salt, whatever the salt is, but I, yeah, I love looking at art, um, I'd love to go to one of those big kind of London galleries, that's something I've never done, but I would love to do, um, finding money in jeans you haven't worn in a while, <laughs> yeah, and jackets, like hoodies or something in the pockets, uh, seeing a cheerful umbrella, I love it when people have those really funny, silly umbrellas. I do have to say, like, that makes me smile. Like, animal faces on or something. Celebrating with a little bit of champagne. I don't drink. Uh, chocolate chip cookies fresh from the oven. Oh, a chocolate chip cookie. Discovering a great new song. Um, I don't really discover new songs. I like old school songs. I don't know none of your modern music. I sound really old, but there we go. Pretending to be a mermaid in a swimming pool. I used to do that at school, it's true. Uh, finding a power outlet at the airport. 
I've never been to an airport. Seriously. I've only ever been abroad once, and that was to France, and it was on a boat, so never been to an airport. Uh, recovering data from a dead computer. Holding a baby chick. I have done, and yes, it made me happy, but I kept worrying that it was going to fall out of my hand. It didn't, by the way. It's fine. Uh, hearing your parents' stories from back in the day. I love, I love listening to my family stories. Um, my grandma and granddad as well would always tell me stories about like their school days or work or their relationships. Like it's just, yeah, it's great. Um, a high school reunion. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I would love to go to one. I'm surprised that my school never did one. Um, I would love to go to one um, and just, yeah, see how old everyone looks <laughs> and what they've been up to and yeah, I would go. I would go to one, actually, yeah. Uh, sitting beneath the willow tree. Oh, I love trees. So, yes, that would make me happy. Um, rolling down all the windows, letting your hair fly. Um, mm, I'm scared of wasps coming in, so no, probably not. Not having to wait in line. Yeah, that's good. Uh, a duet. Uh, the cold side, of, oh, cold side of the pillow. Yes, when you're really hot and you're, you just put your... Mm, love that. Watching a friend get married. I've only done twice or once 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 i think anyway it was all right it wasn't that emotional for me i just felt really like oh i know twice it has been twice oh yeah i just felt really awkward um jumping into a lake i can't swim so that'd be a bit of a problem uh making lists i like that i like making lists uh shopping lists or things i've got to do that kind of thing yeah I like that having the elevator already waiting for you on your floor i will not get an elevator no lift for me thank you uh claustrophobic as well as scared of heights yeah uh, video games um well mario kart yes i enjoy playing that i'm not not very good at any other games buying flowers for yourself if it weren't for the hay fever i would because i do love looking at flowers building a snowman do you want to build a snowman i love building snowmans i have to say it's very enjoyable um an ambitious mustache no a photo booth i love photo booths um, dance in the tango. <laughs> um, knowing that there is someone there to catch you. Oh, that's sweet. Um, autumn leaves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love leaves. Um, I hope you're not getting bored, by the way. I hope you're enjoying this video. Don't forget, uh, give it a big old thumbs up. Leave a comment, share, subscribe. That'd be great. Uh, fully charged cell phone is good. I like it when my phone is full on charged. Uh, running through sprinklers is fun. Yes. Making, sh is it s'mores? s'mores or s'mores i've never done that i've never done that but i i think that would be nice having a partner in crime uh, a big hug from a small person when the dish you order turns out to be the best at the table mine never are it, my, my food is so boring and bland as you know if you're a regular viewer so whenever i've been to a restaurant i always have the most plain boring meal out of the group uh, meditating is very good it makes you calm relaxed um being winked at by someone nice i love the picture that they've got <laughs> um yeah I, look, i'll be honest even at 42 if someone gives me a cheeky little wink or if they hoot their car or something i'm like a oh, wolf whistle i don't mind some women are like oh it's, it's not nice you know blah. look i am a feminist to a degree i don't mind if a, if a guy wants to give me a little bit of respect by well, maybe not respect, but, you know, give me appreciation by a little wolf whistle, yeah. As long as it's not, like, too creepy or pervy or they start stalking me, it's just a little wink, then I'm happy with that. It's flattering. Um, riding bicycles, I can't do. I can't ride a bike. 42, I can't ride a bike. Uh, looking forward and not back. What? I like looking in the past sometimes. I know they say you should move forward, and, and I do agree to a degree, but there's something nice about looking into your past and things that you've been through, you know, and stuff. Well... The good things. A mother's cooking. Mm, I love mummy. Mummy one, two, three. But yeah, <laughs> I, won't, I won't go there. Um, finally peeing when you really need to. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, yeah. If I need a wee and like, I'm bursting, I'm like, mm, and I finally get to the toilet, that is a happy me. That's probably the happiest me in this book. Uh, riding in a car parallel to a fast-moving train. Uh, when your favourite sushi comes round on the conveyor belt, I do not like sushi. But I assume if you like it and it comes round, it probably is quite exciting. People watching, that is me. I do it a lot. I sit in coffee shops and I look out and whether it's out the window or look in the shop and just kind of see who's about and what they're doing. And I imagine all these scenarios of their life, of who they are. And 
that's maybe a bit weird um remembering that word you can remember yesterday <laughs> i do that a lot um and it always comes to you when you don't really care you're like oh yeah that was it oh well um a comfortable silence i love silence maybe i'm getting older but i do enjoy a bit of peace and quiet uh feeling you are heading in the right direction writing on a steamy mirror i do <laughs> i do that a lot i won't say what i draw but i sometimes perhaps maybe draw rude things when i've done the cleaning i might anyway and nathan comes and finds it and he's like bah bah i know i'm naughty uh snorting while laughing i do a lot <laughs> if i laugh a lot i start snorting um using chopsticks correctly i don't think i've ever been able to do if i did get to use them correctly i would be happy um getting lost in a novel i do that every day uh changing your own tire i, I couldn't do that when i drove i couldn't do that uh cheese yes cheese makes me happy an empty inbox no i like i like having emails coming in and stuff i get sad when i've got no email um sunshine through the leaves uh being your own boss um i am well with the youtube thing i am laughing so hard that milk comes out of your nose has never happened to me um feeling safe in someone's arms yeah i like that i like that um being home alone definitely that literally looks like me as well just sitting there on the sofa with a cup of tea there and a book yeah i like i like kind of time alone um i'm a bit of a loner cotton candy i liked as a kid not as an adult too sweet uh, going through old photos always makes me happy um i love it i love like memories and stuff um the sound of popcorn popping a little bit of asmr there i like popcorn popping sounds uh, new plants hey fever um the view of clouds from a plane no <laughs> uh socks skating around the house oh yeah i know i was thinking what's socks skating yeah okay yeah that is quite fun uh finally getting that mosquito oh, i don't like hurting any form of like insects like, even though i'm terrified of them but i'll be honest if there's a horrible like yeah mm. Anyway, uh, remembering something totally hilarious in a silent situation is brilliant. I love that. I do that a lot. <laughs> and you just look like a complete freak because you just start like laughing to yourself. Um, doing nothing all day long. <sighs> I love those days. Lazy. Uh, a co-worker who becomes a friend. I don't really get that over the years. Like, I've got on with people, but we've never really kept. Well, actually, there was one girl who I really, really like. Actually, there was two. But we just kind of lose touch when you're not working with each other anymore. You just, I don't know, kind of lost touch. Freckles. I've got freckles. Um, reading trashy novels without guilt. I never feel guilty about any book I read. If I enjoy it, I like it. That's that. Walking a dog or two. I have walked. Um, one of my exes had a dog. Well, two of my exes had a dog. And I would take their dog for a walk. Um, and it was great. I loved it. Um, receiving unexpected mail. I don't know if it's good mail, obviously. Not a bill that I've got to pay um a compliment from a stranger always nice housemates becoming a family not had had that experience being brave i still need to work on that um when you feel a bite on the line when you're fishing no i don't i don't like fishing i don't agree with fishing um i know people watching probably like what look i'm vegetarian to me the thought of a fish being i just i think it's cruel um i suppose look if, if you're doing it to eat them even though i don't like that either but like if you're doing it to eat them afterwards but the guys who go out just fishing and go like oh look i'm holding it up i bought you know i've i've, I've fished this one and it's massive i just think that's so ridiculous and i did have an ex that done that so he was he was a complete plum um trying something new i love i love trying something new and being good at something new when you love your job well the office job's okay but i, I love being a youtuber and that is you know one of my jobs um seeing your breath in cold air is pretty fun i like seeing that when i was a kid i used to pretend i was smoking because i'd be like and see the air anyway um toast popping out perfectly done i have my toast very lightly toasted like, i think i think on number one um a long banister don't know why that would make me particularly happy <laughs> it might make you happy um erasing the whiteboard putting on a wetsuit traveling without kids um trying to get through this book because this video is already quite long um platitudes that actually make you feel better a sleepover looking up um at the world from underwater uh hunkering down in a cozy coffee shop yes 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 love that when someone stands up for you i love um napping outdoors i couldn't do i can only feel secure napping indoors okay someone come along and like you know stole my stuff or something 
um, blissful exhaustion after a hard ride on your bike, coming home to your dog. Uh, well, I, I get that with Wilma, my goldfish. She always looks excited to see me. Even out, she's just hungry. And she wants her flakes. Falling asleep in the room you grew up in. I still do because <laughs> I'm, you know, living here. Uh, when your dentist says you have perfect teeth, I don't think that's ever going to happen, unfortunately, but it'd be great if it did. Um, making it to the gas station on E. That has happened in the past when I drove. I was like, oh, no. But you just get there in time. Uh, not taking yourself too seriously. I never do. Finding the last pair of clean socks. When you tear a page from a notebook and its edge is perfectly neat. Um, making that shot into the waste paper basket. Yeah, I always do that. Sometimes it goes in the bin. Other times not. Um, crep. Is, I can never say this. Crepes? Crepes? No. Um, a view of the sea does make me happy. I'm very lucky. I, I live, you know, in South End, which is right near that seafront. So I often go down and, and just, you know, look at the seaside. An unexpected bouquet of flowers. Remembering that you still have coffee in your cup. Any drink. When I'm thirsty, I think, oh, I've drunk all it. And then I realise, oh, no, I haven't. Yeah, that makes me happy. Kids eating their food without complaint. <laughs> a long massage. I do like getting a pamper. Warm clothes straight out of a tumble dryer. Oh, yeah. When the like it's cold and you put that like sweater on and it's a warm, it's a nice feeling. When your favourite song comes on the radio. I love that. Um, I don't really listen to the radio as much, but if we're in the car sometimes, mum will have the radio on. Um, or if I've been in my dad's car as well, and you're like, oh, it's just, yeah, it's nice. I like that. You start singing along. Um, knowing you are both a little bit crazy. <laughs> yeah. A well-dressed dog. I do like seeing dogs dressed up, I, I have to say. Your boss taking the day off. No homework. I hated, I hated homework at school. Um, your favourite team winning at the last minute. West Ham are playing tonight, so good luck, the Hammers. Um, knowing where you belong. A bubble gum. Fresh, uh, sorry, first tracks on fresh snow. Doing something stupid, laughing about it for weeks. Uh, when you're angry with someone and they make you laugh. Yeah, I like that. Sometimes you get that... <clears throat> But then they make you laugh and you're like, okay, I forgive you. Beating your own records. Uh, when you suddenly understand the meaning of a song. Yeah, sometimes the lyrics at first, like, I don't, you don't connect. And then you're like, okay, I get it. And it, yeah, it becomes like something new experience. Bedtime stories I loved as a kid. Um, it was really, really odd, actually, because my dad and, and stuff, well, same, yeah, well, my grandparents and my um, mum and dad used to read me bedtime stories. But, yeah, when my dad read me stories, it was always like, like scary stories. No wonder why I grew up like into the paranormal and stuff. Uh, when the bus arrives, just as you arrive is always a good thing. <laughs> and the train as well. Uh, checking in at the airport for a vacation. Coming home to a dinner on that table. Wearing clothes that make you feel beautiful. Yeah, you always feel happy when you look in the mirror and you're kind of, you know, you like what you're wearing. You think it looks nice. A good high five. Handwritten letters. I love a handwritten letter. Nice old school. Uh, the view from a ski lift would, no, would terrify me. Leaving the car wash, knowing your car's nice and clean. Laughing so hard you pee a little, I've done. I used to have a big issue, actually, with, with laughing so much that I would wet myself. My mum had the same issue. Um, I don't think I'd do that anymore. I don't, yeah, I haven't done that for a long time. Um, watching the clock hit five o'clock when you're at work. And also when I was at school, when it got to three o'clock, I was very happy. Um, I wonder why. Eye contact with someone you fancy. Like, ooh la la. Already having all the ingredients for a recipe. Not having to, like, rush out and get something else. Talented street performers I love. Um, I was walking down the high street the other day and there was this girl singing. And, oh my God, like, she had the most beautiful voice. She sounded better than any of your big kind of divas celebrities. Like she was so good. And she just kind of stood there, you know, and with her little guitar. And she's like, I, I give her some money. And I went up to her and I was like, you are like, you are brilliant. Like you're really good. And she went all red and a really nice girl. Um, rolling down a grassy hill, a fresh lemon, untamable curly hair. My dad's ringing me again. There we go. I hope that hasn't affected the video. I will call him back in a minute. I'm nearly finished. Wearing a tutu. Finally getting the hula hoop going. <laughs> I can never hula hoop. Uh, salty pistachios. Ugh, no. Being rescued when you've been locked out. Yes. We got locked out a few months ago. Something was wrong with our lock and it was awful. It's a weird feeling not getting into the house. But when we could get into the house, it was all good. Uh, Self-confidence always makes me happy if I can feel confident in myself. Uh, watching the trailers, looking forward to the movie. 
I've been to the cinema for ages. Recharging yourself is nice, getting that energy level back in yourself, you know, relaxing and stuff. Opening a book you read on holiday and beach sand falls out of it. I have had that where I've been on the beach reading and I've got home and there's like bits of stone and sand in it. Uh, peeling the protective sticker off a new gadget. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, homegrown produce. I said to Nathan I want to do some like grow vegetables this year but we'll see uh balloon animals they always made me laugh as a kid olives Ooh. uh fitting everything in your suitcase oh my god whenever we would go away i would literally try and ram everything in squeeze it all up in little balls you know so i could fit all the clothes in uh receiving the first birthday call just as the clock strike mid uh, strikes midnight nathan is always the first person to wish me happy birthday at like 12 o'clock every year since I've been with him, so it's like, what, 10 years, he's been the first person. A convertible car, looking like a rock star. Uh, being together, yelling from the top of a mountain and hearing your echo. A night out with the girls. I used to love a good old uh, girly night out. Perfect snowball, daydreaming. I am, I am a bit of a daydream, actually. Uh, when your mum says your hair looks nice, sometimes she does. Normally she's like, why have you just tied it back? Why can't you straighten it, make it look nice? I'm like, okay. Um, a water fight, decorating cupcakes is so much fun. I love that. A full tank of gas in your car, big mountains, good health, uh, the sun on your face on a cold day, milk and cookies. I do love milk. Um, airport reunion, heading out on a family vacation, a fully stocked kitchen, brand new running shoes. Um, I got excited like, uh, recently because I got new trainers, uh, feeler trainers. They're so nice. Making art. I love, I'm not very good at it, but I like being creative. Welcoming a baby into the world. Jumping into a pool after a long, hot day. Reaching the bottom of your ironing basket. Yeah, I love getting to the, like the last item and being like, yes, done. I enjoy it at first and then my arm starts like aching. <laughs> um, doodling is fun. I love doodling. I always do that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Walking down and up an escalator. Oh, no. Escalators terrify me. Gardening, I used to like as a kid, but now I have hay fever. Um, warm bread, oh, love the smell of warm bread. Being swung about, that's more like when you're a kid, I think, than an adult. You don't really get 40 year olds being like swung around. Um, quality time with dad and mum, that should be both. Um, living in your favourite city, I love, I love where I live, you know. Dark chocolate, oh, no thank you, milk chocolate's far better. Having choices in life is good. Um, I like that one. Yeah, because you do have choices. Some people don't, you know, but if you can, you, you, well, I say some people don't. Certain things they don't have choices, but other things they do. You know what I mean. Um, a snow globe I love. Shaking it about. Uh, glitter. Mm, not so much. A romantic date is nice. I love a romantic date. Finding the perfect thing to wear is always good. Uh, the blissful scratching of an itchy bite. <laughs> I do get that, especially in the sun when you've got your nap bite and you're like... It's nice having a good old scratch. Oh my. Serious conversation with a small child. Uh, taking a road trip. Uh, kissing in the car. Me and Nathan, um, before he moved in, obviously, I used to drop him at the station and we'd sit in my car and we'd have like loads of kisses. It was nice. Uh, strong coffee. No, I prefer my coffee with a little bit of milk in it. Um, a new haircut. Always makes you feel good when you've had your hair done. Styled or cut. Um, seeing a plant grow, wearing a hat, depends on the hat, your first paycheck, oh, I remember getting mine, I was so excited with my little self, I was like, oh, I got a paycheck, um, the smell of rain is adorable, yes, I love the smell of rain, it's got a real distinctive smell, um, listening to classical music, I do actually like, not all the time, um, but yeah, I, I find it very calming to listen, you don't believe that, do you, but I swear to you, it is the truth, I like a bit of classical a pillow fight, crossing the finish line, um, freshly washed towels, margaritas on the beach, go and see your favourite band live, quitting a job you hate. Uh, the, my favourite band that I ever saw live were um, Savage Garden. I love them. A drink of cold water after a long run, your favourite PJs. Hell yeah. Uh, the smell of freshly cut grass. Not but that hay fever. Summertime. Summertime. A really sharp kitchen knife, a glass of wine in front of the fire, overhearing the laughter of your loved ones. It's always nice to know people you love and care about happy. Um, air conditioning on a hot summer's night, yes. <laughs> Being on a team, 
Cooking with a friend, a good hair day, getting your old password right on the first guess, someone putting a blanket over you while you sleep. Nathan does that a lot to me when I fall asleep on the sofa. Drumming apparently makes you happy. I went out with a drummer once. Anyway, um, eating chips on the way back from the supermarket, sucking up a long piece of spaghetti in a single slurp, uh, turning off your, what? Oh, sorry, taking off your boots after a long hike, moving in together, making a new home, um, dining al fresco, finally shaving after a few days, finding a new book by your favourite author, definitely makes me happy, speaking in a helium voice is really funny, a buffet, texting from under the blanket, the smell of a baby, not taking yourself too seriously, a yo-yo, oh my god, they, they used to stress me out, I could never, never do it properly, um, that looked really dodgy, sorry, uh, <laughs> anyway, I'm not gonna do it again, having a pet rock, I think I had one when I was younger, it was quite a, a thing, wasn't it, to have a pet rock, um, knitting is quite relaxing, my grandma loved knitting, uh, falling asleep to the sound of rain, yes, that makes me happy, jumping over waves, um, karaoke, I do like a bit of singing, if you want to hear what I sound like when I sing, go on the Smule app, S-M-U-L-E, and look up Minx Laura, 123, you'll hear me singing, uh, bumping into a childhood friend, depends on if I like them or not, look, we're nearly finished, um, a well-made bed always feels good, makes me happy, twins, <laughs> why would twins make you happy, I mean, it, it is a weird thing when you look at someone and they look identical to someone, yeah, I get, yeah, it's kind of, yeah, playing in a band, I was in a band when I was at high school, true story, we're called Mixed Emotions, um, helping a stranger, a hot tub, crafting things, sitting around a campfire, uh, feeling the baby kick, dancing all night, typing the end, when you throw out the story or whatever you're, you're writing, uh, the sweet pain after a hard workout, hot chocolate with lots of whipped cream, so I'm trying to get comfy, um, sunflowers, I love sunflowers, Shooting hoops, the basketball, uh, riding a roller coaster does not make me happy. I'm sorry, terrifies me. <laughs> Hearing a story about yourself as a child, I love. I was such a weird child. I still am weird. Wearing your boyfriend's oversized t-shirt. I love wearing Nathan's like hoodies and stuff. It's nice. Uh, watching cat videos on the internet, more so dog, dog, funny dog videos uh, for me. A trampoline I always loved at school, jumping about. Um, cozying up in a dry tent in the rain. I've ne I've never been camping, never been in a tent, so I assume it it probably feels nice, doesn't it? Uh, getting rid of extra baggage, a bird landing close without seeing you, choosing flowers in a supermarket, the afterglow of finishing a novel. Yes, you've got that. I've read that book. Um, racing downhill, a butterfly licking cake batter out of a bowl. Mm. I love cake mixture, laugh into your face aches, <laughs> strumming a ukulele, the last second of your last exam, yeah, when it's just, it's done, uh, discovering underwater worlds, uh, venting with your good friends, finally making a difficult decision, um, I'm so indecisive, so when I finally come to that, I'm like, oh, okay, um, instant noodles, kicking a soccer ball, uh, sharing your life with your soulmate, eating anything when you're pregnant, <laughs> the first page of a new notebook, yeah, that, that makes me happy, actually, yeah, singing in a choir, I used to do at school, at uh, junior school, that is, a tiny little garden, you can make pretty, uh, realising you love your crazy family, waltz and all, <laughs> the smell of early morning coffee, I love coffee smells all day round, um, all day long, watching clouds change shape, it's very, yeah, it's very satisfying, being a traveller, not a tourist, Cheating on your diet, but losing weight anyway. <laughs> yeah, that is a nice feeling. Uh, book club. Yay, book club. Um, sparkle. No, sorry, sparklers. Uh, um, Guy Fawkes Night. I love sparklers. I still wear a glove, though, when I do it, because I'm scared that I'll like, hurt my hand. Having dinner as a family. Making a giant sandwich. Fresh bagels. Yay. Love bagel. Uh, the mere existence of the didgeridoo. <laughs> What? Um, a nice big yawn, making others' lives easier, makes you happy. Um, uninterrupted TV, the smell of basil, chatting with grandma, wish I could. She sadly, um, she died. I can't. Um, like a chat to her in spirit, I suppose. A bubble bath by candlelight, the smell of freshly washed hair. I love the smell of my shampoo and conditioner. Meeting up with your oldest friend, 
a slinky. <laughs> I love slinkies when they like just go down slinky down the stairs. Um, finding that perfect shell. I love that. Writing when the world was sorry, writing when the words really flow. Uh, finding a piece of candy in a bag you thought was empty. Booking a holiday. Noticing it's 11 11 and making a wish. I've never even done that. I didn't even know that was a thing. I will do that next time. Uh, making, sorry, watching snowflakes and making snowflakes. No, you can't really make a snowflake. You know what I mean. Watch it. Anyway, I'm trying to speed this up. Uh, a special pen. <laughs> What's a special pen? Pickles. Ooh. Oh, no. Unpacking that last box. An early morning walk. It's quite a nice vibe, actually, going for a walk early in the morning. The fantasy of getting away from it all. A neat and tidy desk. Uh, a sneaky weekend break. Why has it got to be sneaky? A hot drink on a cold day. Watching your man cook dinner. A slice of lime in a cold beer. It's in a cold bottled beer. Sleeping diagonally. A great conversation with a stranger. Um, wearing flowers in your hair. Reminiscing. Biking to the beach. An aquarium. Oh, we're going to sea life next week, actually. A long walk with a friend. Setting up your own business. Hot sauce. Uh, grandchildren, receiving what you ordered online, yeah, that's always a good feeling, jumping in puddles, resting after a long, hard trek, when a baby holds your finger and refuses to let go, yeah, I love that, when my friend Danielle had her twins, I remember, like, one of her little boys is like, was holding my finger, I was like, oh, so cute, uh, untangling the last knot, liking yourself, that should be the main thing, always like yourself, love yourself, steak, does not make me happy i'm a vegetarian uh return to bed after a long day yeah i love that playing in the warm summer rain um scaring the scaring the living daylights out of someone uh wearing new shoes for the first time as long as they're comfortable buying yourself something nice just because uh being really silly together sleeping under the stars leaving work on friday um i love i love night it's weekend being the only one laughing and not being able to stop i always get the giggles a costume party where everyone does actually make a huge effort um parenthood i i don't know um pajama parties getting your dream job uh, we're nearly there look oh oh there's someone at the door hold on one second oh sorry about that that's the postman and that makes me happy because I got a book, I think. I can tell by the parcel. Oh. Um, finding the perfect pair of jeans. Uh, being engaged did make me happy. Or well, it does make me happy. Finishing that crossword or word search for me. Um, a shooting star. Uh, riding a bike downhill. A head massage. Oh, yeah, I love that. Um, getting that pesky piece of food with a toothpick. Oh, when you get it and you're like, <laughs> that, yeah. Dropping your phone and catching it midair. Oh, God, yeah. Having a dishwasher. <laughs> uh, perfectly painted toenails. Sisterhood. Let's hear it for the girls. Um, finding the perfect quotation to express your thoughts. Letting go of the things that make you sad. Accidentally making a soap bubble while uh, washing your hands. Finding your size in the sale items. And free Wi-Fi. There can't be many more left. Right, we've got like three pages. Okay, leaving and never looking back. Seeing a stranger smile when he's reading a book. <coughs> Finishing a to-do list. Giving a kid a band-aid for a tiny little cut. Receiving a love letter. Uh, uh, sharing an umbrella. Taking off ice skates. Um, I've never been ice skating. Um, roasting marshmallows I've never done. A fresh baguette. Sorry, my dad's ringing me again. I know what it is. It's because he's watched a show that we were talking about last night. And he said he'd ring today to discuss the show with me and, and Nathan as well. But um, I'm filming, Daddy. I will ring you back. I promise. A fresh baguette. Uh, balloons. The first glimpse of home after a long time away. Is that the last one? I think that is the last one. Hey! We worked our way through the whole book. And it took like an hour. Whoa. Oh, well, it'll give you something to watch, won't it? I hope you've enjoyed the video. <laughs> Look, maybe it's given you some tips on things that you can do. Um, I know, as I say, some of them were silly, but, you know, they all do make someone or someone's happy. I've learned a few little tricks and things that I can do and, and stuff. I like this book. 
really cute illustrations as well so yeah this is happiness is by lisa swirling and ralph lazar um so there we go okay loving that that's really cute <laughs> it is really nice sorry i'm just looking at all the illustrations uh so if you've enjoyed the video which i ha hope you have please click like comment share and subscribe don't forget to check out minx laura 123 asmr my other channel links down below as do all the links to my social media um yeah twitter instagram tiktok that kind of thing um this makes me happy drinking a yuzu milkshake reading a book makes me happy getting new books makes me happy um being cuddled and kissed and just hanging out with my my lovely nathan makes me happy um being around my mum and my dad makes me happy uh, being around my friends when i do eventually see them <laughs> makes me happy uh, going shopping definitely makes me happy doing a youtube video like working really hard on it and then seeing lots of thumbs up and views that makes me happy um reading just good news you know in general makes me happy oh there's so many things but anyway i hope this video has made you happy <laughs> but um yeah anyway take care of yourselves i'll see you soon bye